Get ready. Go. You have the right to remain silent. We're making it rain. I think she thinks she's at her last job. Just stun no, him for on. me. He wants a full experience. I'm sure she's given plenty of people a full experience, but we don't want to go there. We're here in the Sheridan Tampa, baby, and we have Dylan here today with us. Why? He owns almost a million dollars worth of real estate, <laughs> and he started from nothing. And as you can see, he's got some disabilities. Don't worry, if you bang the wall, I won't charge you. <laughs> I'm Dylan Durant, and I'm from Pennsylvania. Be with me, Ben, because I need to help with real estate. Basically, when his mother was giving birth to him, there was trouble breathing, correct? Correct. So they used forceps, forceps and they damaged his the cerebral. The cerebral. It controls your central nervous system. It controls your nervous system and it caused cerebral palsy. Correct. And you're telling me that Social Security does not consider him disabled? They told me because I wasn't retarded. I'm not disabled. Physically he's disabled. <laughs> Yeah. Mentally, he's just nuts. That's <laughs> yes, yes. That's why I like you. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> oh, Ben, fucking awesome. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna come sit on your balcony because I love being on the water. The one thing he ain't gotta worry about. I don't think a shark will want him. <laughs> and we're doing a private meeting. Well, even with his disabilities, it's not stopping him from getting out there and doing all kinds of stuff. You're a DJ, you're doing inflatable houses and stuff, the jumpers and stuff. Yeah. I don't know, have you gone to Social Security? He doesn't get anything for Social Security? Mm. Nothing? Mm. Yeah. What do you do for medical? My, my mom is still working, so I'm still on her insurance. I appreciate it, but I feel bad. Can you show me any video of him DJing? I can find something. How the hell is he working the phone? You're the imagine his nose? Imagine responding to emails. Maybe we need to get him a screen flavor. <laughs> so he has different flavors on his screen. Every day you can put a screen flavor on. I'm just kidding, you know, I don't even know if it's. I really don't care. I love it. I love it. I, don't know. I mean, it, 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 your brain's fine, that's the thing. You know, but I don't know. Life's a bitch. It depends, it depends who you ask. What do you say, put something in his ass? Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, uh don't have no fucking accent. <laughs> you made me laugh. Because, because My insurance don't cover this shit. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, my heart had a very sharp pain for like 10 seconds. I, 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 was, I was scared. I was on the verge of a heart, heart attack. How's your, how's your heart? It used to be good till I opened the business. <laughs> yeah, gorgeous women like gorgeous money. Get, when they get done with you, you won't even have wheels on your fucking wheelchair. Get ready, go! You have the right to remain silent. We're making it rain! I think she thinks she's at her last job. Just stun no, him for on. me. Have Just give him a no, stun. Please. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that is revolutionizing the landscape of men's grooming. When you've got the confidence of more than 10 million men worldwide, it's pretty clear that Manscaped has mastered the art of producing superior men's grooming and hygiene tools 
for your family jewels. And that's right. If my math holds up, we're talking about a staggering 20 million balls in the mix. With the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, they've taken grooming precision to a whole new level, baby. And with their next gen dual skin safe blade heads, now accompanied by an upgraded trimmer blade and interchangeable foil blade for enhanced performance. These blades mean business to leave you with that irresistibly smooth bare finish as it moves softly across your skin, snatching even the finest hairs. It's like getting your hands on two trimmers, but only paying for one, baby. A definite win in anybody's playbook. Manscaped has you covered from below your waist to your face. And guess what? It doesn't stop there. When you purchase the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, you'll receive two free gifts. Join the 10 million men worldwide who put their confidence in Manscaped for all things grooming and hygiene. Head over to manscaped.com and get your hands on the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra today. When you use my promo code, BENM, you'll get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Now back to the program. Here's Jimmy Hart, baby, put his glasses on for you. Are you able to eat without killing yourself? Don't fucking have no choking episode in my restaurant. Oh, boy. We got to figure out how to straighten you out. How you keep a positive attitude is beyond my belief. You sure you don't want to take the stairs? Look at that. We got the handicap rails here, baby. Benshotels.com. All right, that thing got reverse on it. Step this way. Or roll this way. You don't happen to have an extra handicap sticker I can borrow, do you? I need one for my car. I would about soup with a straw. <laughs> Today's special is soup. <laughs> We're having a great lunch. We're talking about what he's got, what he's going to do with what he's got, and what his next move's going to be, OK? And this man is the ultimate proof, OK, that anybody, even someone in his condition, can still be in real estate if you're serious. And Dylan's serious. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. All right, the problem is, you need a little help eating, so my hands, I just sanitized my hands. Here, have a French fry. Pretty good. All right, you feed him the burger. <laughs> that says it all. Dylan's in real estate. Why aren't you? Learn how to grow faster than I am now. Oh my God, if I had to listen to him all day, I'd go fucking crazy. <laughs> I finally found somebody I think I can beat in a race. I'm gonna beat you, Dylan. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Let's find out. And I'm gonna do it smoking a cigarette. I'm gonna smoke you, baby. Get ready. Go. Come on. I can beat you. Oh shit. Oh shit. I beat him. I win. I win. That was our Olympics. And I won a gold medal, baby. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you so much. You know, since birth, he's had, you know, cerebral palsy, right? But it didn't stop him, OK? Because up here, he's still working, and that's all you need. All right? And he, even though everybody told him, no, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, he's buying real estate, he's got cash flow, he's getting ready to do some major moves, he's also a DJ, uh, he's gonna get hit by a van right now, and I don't wanna be part of the accident. <laughs> Listen, the point is, is that he's had all the cards stacked against him in life, but he still had the determination to make shit happen and to keep making shit happen. All I can say, he's an inspiration to me, I'm honored to meet him, and I have a new outlook on, on what I think. I, I feel like I can't do something. Look what he's accomplished, OK? So we all can learn from Dylan. So get off your ass and start doing something to make some more money. Everybody can do it, 
Dylan, you've taught us a lot today. Now get on your plane and go back to Pennsylvania. <laughs> Everybody can do it. If you need me, get on the phone, book a meeting, and let's all make some money. Because if the whole world made money and worked together, the world would be a happier place. Basically, you know, we bought Brenda a house, but it didn't have a pool. So what does she do? She brings all her five kids over to my house to swim. But not no more, baby, because I got her own pool. So now all the kitties can play in their own pool at their own house. Did you just hear what he said? He built a pool so the kids would stop using his pool. And they'll still be over there. 500 bucks says that. <laughs> I need a pool too. Can I get a little extra? You don't even clean your pool. I can't even come over your house and use your pool. All right, he's got a pool on the waterfront and he doesn't even take care of it and say, hey dad, why don't you come over? Let's sit in a pool. Let's have a, a, a cocktail, even though I don't drink and relax. But no, I can't even do that. My pool's too small. I need a big pool like this. I don't need much room. But the problem is, when you dig up the damn property and put a pool in, you screw up everything else. So now, we got to put this place back together. We heard the old pavers put in, and now we got to figure out what to do about landscaping. So what do we do? We call out the landscaping crew. The place looks like a jungle. So I think we're going to pave across there on that side of the pool. I, I see the problem already. The kids will be diving off that balcony up there onto the water. I don't know how much the pool was. I don't know, a lot. It definitely worked it. You can't have a house with kids without a fucking pool, and then I don't want them coming to my house. I mean, it definitely added value to the house, that's a fact. But now we gotta finish this place up. Hey, Ben, what's that rope hanging down for? For you to hang yourself. Oh, shit, I just wanna leave. Ben, let me Make ask a right the light. Ben, being serious. You know how I always kid around and said, if anything happens to you, this place will be gone in six months. I always say that, right? Right now, who's in charge? Little Ben, right? Who does a great job, him and Vincent. If you dropped completely out, didn't call your lawyer anymore, didn't do anything and said, okay, the keys to you and Vincent, make the deals, borrow the money, do everything, could they do that? Yes. Then why don't you do it? Unfortunately, my life is too uh, complicated to explain to a hillbilly like you. <laughs> I'm All not right? A, I'm not a hillbilly anymore. There's a lot of things involved, there's a lot of factors involved when you're dealing with <laughs> banks and you're dealing with- Well, can't uh, they do it though? Oh, and hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, can't they do it? Of course they can do it, but I gotta set them up for success. I don't just leave people hanging like you did your whole life. All right, the summer's over, baby. We're back to work. Unfortunately, this is my crew to work with. We ain't been to John's Pass for a while. We're gonna come back here, and we're gonna see what the fuck is going on, okay? Is this place in order? Is it in ship shape? Is everything full? Are we getting ready to build some more rooms? What's going on? Well, how are y'all doing? Oh, doing great. Good, what good to see y'all. Hey, darling. It's time to get this place spruced up. It's the slowest season right now, and now's the best time to do it, all right? You see this ceiling here? I don't think we've painted since we bought the place. I want this whole thing sprayed out in black again. What are we gonna do about the bird shit? That's bird shit all over the place. You need to figure out how to stop the birds from coming in here and shitting. Why are they shitting on it? Because there's fish know. right here. Well, fish, why are they coming birds, up in here and shitting? Because this is a nice area to be in. Let's come in here and try to pressure wash it when nobody's around. That wall looks like shit. Wash it. The bird shit on the ground, that's totally unacceptable. We gotta get this place spruced up. Who was she almost knocked Jimmy out? And I said, excuse me. She's a redneck woman, give me her nine dollar mom. The best advice I can give any property owner is, walk your property, walk it, feel it, touch it. Identify any issues that need to be addressed. This right here, this is like a trip hazard. Somebody's gonna fucking bust their ass, fucking fall in the water, I'm gonna get sued. This is my favorite area though. You come out here, you can fish right here. Basically, this top cap should look like this top cap. All you gotta do is buy some friggin' wood, you fucking cut it, you screw it in, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. What's the story here? We got, what's, what's going on right here in these two spaces? All right, so what happened was, this gentleman put his business up for sale. He retired. When he did that, his neighbor found out and decided to buy him out. So this used to be a wall right here. Look, he painted all this. Right, all right, this was right, bare right, concrete. Very good, very he good. painted all this, put money into your space. He put money into his business. He's in business. He pays his rent, he runs a business. If he makes $100,000 more a year 
it ain't gonna affect us, it's gonna affect him. So it's a win-win for everybody. The heir to the throne. Do anything wrong this time, okay? He's claiming his thing's bad, I don't know. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. That's assault on camera. Assault. Assault. I can get some good money out of you for that. I One probably finger, got bruises. You have to use at least two fingers. I probably got be bruises assault. now. And it's not assault. Tell them, assault is really when you verbally do something. Battery is when you punch somebody out. Just stun no, them for on. me. Have Just give them a no, stun. Please. Get the stun gun out him, baby. Let's always, shock him. He wants to see me hurt. I think it would help in his situation. It would, it would. This used to be Ben Jr.'s favorite place until he got skinny on us. But if you're looking for the highest quality ice cream, here it is right here, baby, at Kilwins. They kill it. This is like a candy jewelry store. Oh my God, I love this place. Look at him. He's a kid in a candy store. Look Come at him. Come on, Jimmy. We get to eat one little piece of dark chocolate. Everything is okay in moderation. He has learned about moderation. And he's a perfect living example of oh, it. Buckeye. Oh my God, look at that. That's delicious. I'm gonna teach you a trick that I learned when I was a little kid. That'll do it, that's fine. So here we go. We bought this building here for, I don't know, a few million bucks, something like that, because we already owned the, most of this area and we're actually making some serious progress right now. Now we're gonna yeah. test uh -oh. the elevator. No, 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 no. You need to use the stairs, Dad, don't. You need to use the stairs. Come on, come on, stairs are better. The elevator is busy right now. There's somebody doing it. I got it. a bad knee, and you promised me the, the elevator stairs. works. Use the stairs, the elevator's down. Why is the elevator always fucking down? Okay, listen. The part that they put in that got hit from the storm, they put it in. Now the part that they put in is defective. They gotta order a new one. If you get in that elevator, you could get stuck. It's not gonna open. I don't Wait. believe this wow. life I got! These guys have the best excuse if um, nothing ever works that I've ever seen. They're great. We're gonna go to Dick's restaurant and we're not gonna tell Jimmy that they're supposed to be rude to you. All right, we're here for the new full experience. I'm not reading all that, lady. Let's just feed us and let's see what you got going here. You didn't go to school? No, never been to fifth grade. Look at that, fancy tablecloth. All right, it's service with sarcasm, okay? Oh, great. You don't get that one, it says, Thanks. you get yours last. It says little. No. His says little on it. Little? Small size. <laughs> we don't judge. I can be a dick to you, you guys can be a dick to me. Don't get your feelings hurt, okay? You sure you're ready for this? Our family is full of dicks. This is the oldest dick you're ever gonna see. We gotta get the full experience. You know? Yeah, he wants a full experience, so he needs one of the big dick margaritas. I'm sure she's given plenty of people a full experience, but we don't wanna go there. <laughs> we don't judge on the days, Mr. Boss Man. She don't judge, but she's seen a lot of judges in her time. Come on, lady, let's go. I'm a good one. What y'all want to drink? I'm waiting on y'all. I don't got all day. What appetizers you Everybody eat? here has a car. Everybody wants an appetizer or a free kid's meal. Absolutely not. <laughs> Are you the child of the table? I I'm can be. To... See, that's the person y'all should hire with a personality, y'all. <laughs> personality, Jimmy. Say it Jimmy said the best service I ever had. This is the best <laughs> service he'd have never had. I'm telling you, she'd be great at y'all's bar over there. Vincent, I think you better get some of that daddy's dick redneck fondue. That's I can't even say the name to half of these. Dick's huge 12-inch wiener. Hey, ever since you let little Ben take this property over, he's been adding a lot of profanity to the property. That's sex he's... Sex sells. It seems like a lot of dicks. Dick salty Jimmy's semen. Ow! Oh, fucking dick. Ow! Lady, you got any fake sugar or what? You know, I think it's really nice that they hired a mentally challenged here. Do you know how to work a bar? I do. I'm telling you, she'd be great at Charles Hotel. Believe me, she's worked plenty of bars. Hey, how good is the uh, find me in the streets, her, my guy? Didn't I see her in front of the 7-Eleven the other night collecting? Probably the Kona store is my favorite. Do you want your tots smothered? No. Good, that's gross anyway. I'm sure your wife doesn't want somebody that would either. smother her with a pillow. It's my favorite <laughs> time of day, actually. She Can't went to the same way. school as Vincent. Yeah, F did. you. How are your wings? I want to see the manager. No. Manager! The menu said wings in a basket. That ain't a basket. That's a tray, like the one he used to have in prison. That's our favorite. You're so right. So that's a misrepresentation on the menu. 
say? Jimmy, they finally found a hat that looks good on you. Oh shit, I lost mine. Lady, fix the hat. You got a big melon. Some of us got stuff inside our heads, some of us don't. Me. Remember, always cover your head, or else this is what happens. It says Def Leppard called, they want, they need their drummer back. Who got ribs? I didn't get ribs. I got ribs. That Polak get always gets supported? ribs. Holy shit, that's enough what rib stuff. Hell? Holy mackerel, that's a street salad, baby. Hey, you want some of my jalapeno? No. Country fried steak, green beans, shit. and tater tots. We're making it rain. Make it rain. I think she thinks she's at her last job. Go find a hoodie and put it on backwards. Uh, no, I like talking. It's part of my day job. She'd be good in the Halloween store. You don't need a costume. Let's just all hope and pray she didn't cook it. Uh, that's why I work here. I don't cook, I don't clean, still got no ring. Maybe that's why you ain't got no ring. Yeah, exactly. I don't need one. You don't need no men around here. That's why you guys are sitting at a table together with no women, right? Oh. oh. <laughs> She couldn't cook top ramen. <laughs> Jimmy thinks the service is normal. Tell me, y'all. I hadn't heard of Hop Tua. <laughs> you know Hop Tua is? <laughs> Jimmy Hop Tua. Oh, you, you gotta give him that Hop Tua. Jimmy, ever been Hop Tua? Hey, hurry, you hey, here's your tip. Thank you, that's my favorite. Trash. Scraps, like scraps. If something happened to you today, is little Ben and Vincent ready to take over? And I said, no. why don't you give them a trance? No. And for and for six months, I'm just- I'm never gonna be ready to take This you will. I said, just drop out and let them handle everything. The loans, the bill, and everything. And he said, no, they're not ready. Well, fuck, how many years You're ago? a liar. That's no, not I what I not said. Know. Wait a minute, we got the film of I no. said, the portfolio's not ready. They're ready, but I'm not gonna leave them in a fucking mess. I just had a great lunch there, and I'm coming back for dinner soon. Come down to John's Pass, go to Dick's Last Resort, have a good meal and tell them Ben sent you. All right, we did it before. Now we're gonna do it again. You see that second floor retail up there? It was dead. What do we do? We came in and we made it hotel rooms and we're making money, baby. And we're gonna do it right here next door. We got a second floor retail space here and Ben Jr. is gonna come in here. He's gonna figure out how to get us some more hotel rooms and we'll be taking vacant space to make it money space. Uh, the plan is gonna cut a hallway basically right here, put a uh, wall all the way down right here, and then turn this into one, two, three rooms. Just measure the whole thing and divide by three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 28, 29. You got about 32 feet. 32 feet divided by three is barely 11. A bed right here, which is going to look at a wall that has the TV on it. There's gonna be a hallway right here that goes into a bathroom that will be okay. All right, so basically we're talking about 11 by 25, it's really 250 square feet of room. You're looking at a room right here. Come on in and see your new home. The closet room. Three, four, five, Are six, Are you smoking in here? Seven, Come on, eight, Dad, get out of here with nine. the cigarette. You get two more feet on a regular room. Go to Ben'sHotels.com and book that room, baby. If you want to have a real fishing experience, come visit Hubbard's Marina. They've been taking people out fishing for almost 100 years. This is what you're having for dinner, baby. That, that, I'd be sick as a dog eating that. Oh, my God. Look, you could be the bait master or the master Oh, be careful. Uh, the starter plan is just going out in the five hour half day. It's fun for the whole family, any age, any level of experience. Even you could do it, Ben. Five hours? I don't five know. Five hours. Trips like our 39 hour. 39 hours on a boat with you? Yes, sir. I wouldn't do it. And we got a 44 hour if that's not long enough. Where do you sleep? Uh, we got bunks, we got showers, we got all he the hot meals. A master suite. We got it all. We don't have the master suite. It is a fishing boat. It's we're out there to catch fish, not not live in the lap of luxury, you know. And the fish, the fish that you catch, you can take you, next door to the restaurant. You take next door to the restaurant, and they'll cook it for you. Yeah, the friendly fishermen. Blacken. Bends other tenants. Let me tell you something about fish and chartering. Okay, it's really the greatest, smartest thing in the world. I took me, my wife and kids out fishing. You know what they did? They caught enough fish to last us about five dinners. Okay, the money that we made. The money that we spent on the charter, we got more than that back in fish. 
So it's like going out on a vacation for free. You get to eat the fish. The money you pay for the charter, you're going to get it back in fish that you would have spent in a restaurant or at home anyway cooking. Here we are, baby. We're back in Yogurt City. And here's the head yogurt man, AKA Chicken Man. Bok, 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 bok. Where do you come to for dessert? Right downstairs. The building's got two dicks in it now. One up and one down. Come check out English Rose Jewelry, where you get something really nice for the right price. Even if I'm not here, you can still see me. You're looking for that special thing that's got a little humor to it? Come on over here to Big Dick Salty Seaman and pick up something to take home. Looking for a nice hot coffee or cold? You need to come to Llama Java, baby. As soon as you walk in, you can just smell the coffee and it's delicious. You know I like hanging out with beef jerky. That's me. We gotta find Jimmy some healthy snacks, healthy snacks. When was the last time you sunk your teeth into a worm snack? Is that real worms? Yes. Protein, man, this is what you need. Crickets, crickets, get your crickets here. Damn. Come on, Jimmy, how many crickets you wanna eat today? Uh, only about two. Two crickets for Jimmy, coming up. I'm on a diet. It's not just a beef jerky store, it's an experience. You got every kind of beef jerky you want here. All kinds of flavors. I always wanted to slap my mama. He knows fucking well. He cannot have a dessert. You gotta give him that hook to it. Subscribe. Tell somebody else to subscribe. When are we gonna hit a million? Watch another video. Don't forget about our sponsor. Adios, amigos.